The response to a transgression is usually negative. So how one deals with this response is crucial. One way of responding is to ruminate over the hurt and then to begin to nurture a grudge, which is very costly on you personally. Another response will be to exact revenge, but that's equally potentially costly because with revenge, there is no end. Because once you take revenge, then the initial actor will want to take revenge on that act. And there is no end to revenge. Is there a more adaptive response? I want to focus on forgiveness. Does it really matter? I've already told you that a transgression can lead to fear and withdrawal, to anger and retaliation, revenge. These are unpleasant states that exact a physiological toll when you do not forgive. If you ruminate or nurse a grudge, you will have a more negative experience. You will show things like higher heart rate, greater galvanic skin response. You will experience increased systolic and diastolic blood pressure and mean arterial pressure, which is a reflection of arterial stiffness. If you do that over time, if it's chronic, the anger and hostility that characterize ongoing vengeful thoughts can be linked to very serious health consequences. No surprise, given what I've just said about blood pressure, that you're more likely to experience heart disease, that's the number one killer in the United States, and death. Unforgiveness or lack of forgiveness is nothing short of life-threatening. So if you want to live a long and fulfilling life, I would encourage you to find forgiveness as a way of life.